Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, let's give the video a thumbs up. So, CEI, we already know Camber Energy is a ticker that we had recently got in. We rinsed and repeat. We made money $700 on it the first time. Got back in on a deal. This is our second time being in it. We was up $700 on the play before going into close on yesterday. At some point on yesterday, and all of a sudden, the bottom fell out. We had that huge collapse. A uh, short report came out, guys. Basically, someone claiming that uh, Camber Energy hasn't reported any financial statements since to the SEC since 2020 of September. That's what caused a huge collapse in the price, guys. And once it fell all the way back to 89 cents, I didn't panic because it already was currently trading at the high threes near three dollars and almost four i can't remember quite exactly but after pulling all the way back i got in on the pullback at around a dollar and 30 cents i knew without a doubt even if a short report came out that mentioning that a stock it was too good to be true that's where the psychology of the market come at it was too good to be true for the short sellers on the short side that was easy money easy money all the way around i knew a pop had to come back somewhere even if it don't revisit and get back to three four or two dollars i knew being in at a dollar and thirty cents was a good deal either or once it pulled back to 89 cents i just brought my average cost down just a little bit bought what it accumulated a little more short shares to bring my average cost down but i didn't get enough so it didn't really budge much so I held my own. I was down about a thousand dollars when it pulled down to eighty nine cents. I didn't worry because I knew it would quickly recover on either the next day or at some point because of so much of the shave off it had done because of this. It's not even a hundred percent true if the statements are true that was put out. And typically, when a, a false report or if it's true of a rumor come out. Typically, a stock will make the reaction that it's going to make, which that reaction in that case was the huge decline all the way to 89 cents. Once it does that, what is it going to do? It's not going to come all the way down. I mean, it could have went all the way down to zero dollars and zero cents, but that's not, you know, that's not uh, likely. I didn't really think that was likely to happen, which it could have, but I didn't think it was likely, guys. So that's why, you know, I didn't panic. I stayed. I held my ground. It was like this thing is going to recover. And that's exactly what's happening on today. It's basically just recovering from the weakness of, you know, weak hands from hearing about that short report. And then from also people just seeing a good opportunity with the cheap amount, with the cheap cost of shares that they can accumulate just to ride it for a nice little swing, a nice little quick uh, entry and exit type of play, guys. So solid play all around, though, even though that came in and did what it did it just made the opportunity even juicier for the people that wasn't in it just yet but for the people that was in it and holding on you shouldn't have been caught up in it because i clearly gave indication on where i was getting out at if it broke under 2070 cents that range i said that was a clear indication to hop on up out of there and that's when i had bought in after the huge pullback coming down to around 130 130 and then from 130 it had another huge pullback coming down to 89 cents guys so we already know this thing is most definitely primed to run back up some guys we're not going to say since that short report has come out you know the whole ball game has switched up with this play it's just a quick in and out play now it been already there already but i'm just saying far as riding it to even like higher levels than it previously was at so we currently trading at 180 at the time of this recording guys judging by the charts this is a beautiful chart up over almost 100% today, 95%, guys. And if you can tell on the chart, after running up like that, usually this thing will pull back hard and then try to recover. It didn't really do that, guys. Once it pulled back, we had a solid support around 159, 160. And then right where we closed at and where we chilling at right now is a very, very important level. If you look on the charts, this right here is basically the resistance. We got a resistance at 177 that we broke through today. Ran all the way up to 188, came back down, chilling right near resistance now, right around 177. So for us to be chilling in this area, you know this ain't nothing but a whole lot of upside potential right back to the high tools, guys. But, you know, you want to be smart and meticulous with this type of play. So, you know, the low tools, the mid tools, there'll be a nice exit and then try and get back in on the dip and ride it right back up guys so that's how i will play this and like i say i go ahead and show my position again because i was down a thousand dollars 
but I didn't worry. I was like, it's going to come back. And that's exactly what it did. Now I'm back up 800 again. And now I had told you I was going to sell this today, but I didn't know that was going to happen. So I had to change my plan. Now I'm going to swing it again until tomorrow. I could sell now and be up 800, but for what it did and for what it's worth, I feel like I can get a little more out of it, guys. And like, that's something you don't want to, uh, do always stick to your plan whatever you say you're gonna get out at do that or whatnot but being a little being in the game a little longer and you know learning from my mistakes sometimes i just know when to you know go against my plan and sometimes i know when to stick to my plan guys and in this case i feel like we can at least get back to two so that's why i'm holding this and i'm trying to get back to two guys so you already know that's all i got for this video consider joining the family we post over here every single day i love y'all we out and god bless you